Welcome to the Stone and Star Art Studio. Today we are doing the second piece in our Seascape series. It is called Stormy Harbor. So if you have a piece of paper, pencil, pen, maybe some watercolor, let's get started. Whenever I'm painting a seascape, I always start out with the horizon line. This time it's going to be a little bit above the very center of the piece of paper. Next, I'm adding in our distant island. So the mountains are just gonna kind of rise up a little bit jagged, a little random. Kind of play with it until you see something that looks natural and not too awkward on the page. Next, I'm going to add in the beach, so I start out parallel to that horizon line and then curve all the way around as if we're standing on the beach. Then come along the edge of that beach and replace that perfect smooth line with some jagged little waves. Next, I'm jumping up into our sky and doing another parallel line to that horizon line. This will be the base for our clouds. Then just come along the top and make some random puppy shapes. Don't make anything too perfect. Then come along under the clouds and do some guiding lines for our future inking. Just make sure all the lines are going in the same direction. This will be our rain. Here I'm just adding in a couple extra little islands to make it look more real and natural. This next line will be the line that separates our beach from our woods then this one will be kind of the edge of our surf. So that'll show where we'll stop using our watercolor to leave kind of a white line on the edge of our beach. Next, I'm going to sketch out a few sailboats sitting in the harbor. So I'm just doing a parallel line and then just the shape of the hull. And they're going to be in profile to us, so it's not too complicated. Just kind of a triangle with some lines and then the boom on the back side. And don't forget the anchor chain. Okay, time to ink. So kind of take your time with this and try to let the pen kind of flow naturally when you're not doing anything that's man-made so that it'll become more natural and pleasing to the eye.
Next, let's go back in and erase so we can get ready for watercolor. Okay, so I'm starting in with the watercolor using my deep dark blue and just kind of spreading it upwards into the mountains. I'm using a nice stormy gray to fill in our clouds. I'm going to make them darker to the bottom right, just like the mountains, as if we have our light source in the top left of the paper. When the ocean is dry, I like to go back in and add some more details behind the surf to give it a little more depth. Same thing for the mountains here. So whenever it's dry, you can really add in some clear defined lines and separation between shadows and non-shadows.
here's the final product. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you followed along, I would love to see your piece of artwork. Just tag me at Art by Isla. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and next week we are going to release the final video in this Seascape series. Thanks for watching!